Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Tarot. And this is from the director combo of Spencer Cohen and Anna Halberg. And this film focuses on the story of a group of friends who wind up renting an Airbnb up in the Catskills and find a deck of tarot cards that look particularly evil, and they read their readings, and then each of them are slowly killed by the face cards that were given to them and their horoscopes come to life and kill them so they have to try to figure out how to stop this oh i did not have high hopes for this and it really didn't deliver on any kind of hopes to be honest there are like two sequences where they have cool interesting visualizations of the face cards and how they go about doing their thing. There's the fool and the uh, magician. Those sequences were actually pretty well done. Outside of that, this is a group of pretty generic characters. Nobody has particular amount of depth. Jacob Batalon is interesting and engaging and he's funny, but even some of his dialogue is bad. But he does his best and at least lightens up the mood of this film. But most of the, like, some of the cast members are just so, just stiff and awkward. And, like, the male lead of the film is not really convincing, to be honest. But there's not a whole lot here that adds a whole lot of depth to anything. It's just pretty frustrating experience as you look at this screenplay and it hits all the most stereotypical cliche check mark checklist of how to write a horror screenplay to make it the most unenthusiastically average and not unique approach you have like an older british woman who winds up being the one who knows the backstory and she gets a whole backstory and like the spirit who's possessing these cards and that backstory was considerably more interesting than any of this film which is particularly frustrating you have the whole linear system of like hey here's people each of them systematically killed off and like we know exactly beat by beat where this film is going the first you know, 20 minutes or so is just them setting up characterization and spewing a whole bunch of dialogue about horoscopes and tarot, like somebody who literally just read about it online and learned about astrology for the first time. It's poorly lit. The editing is clunky. There's a lot of moments where, like, the auditory jump scares are just so obnoxious that is just eye-roll inducing. There's a, some fun moments in this film, but overall, it just falls really flat. It's not scary. And there's just so many technical decisions that are made that undercut the effort of the film in general. But by the end, you're just feeling like, why did I spend 92 minutes watching this? Was not scared, not connected. And really has these blunt, unenthusiastic, and uninspired thoughts on fate and stuff like that. So in the end, not really offering much at all. But those are my thoughts on Tarot. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.